calling all denim lovers. Anyone else love wearing jeans as much as I do? I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with denim. I literally wear jeans almost every single day. So I'm always looking at the biggest denim trends, which ones look flattering, which ones don't look flattering, which ones all the mega celebrities are wearing, which ones all the mega influencers are wearing, but more importantly, which ones make me and you feel like the best versions of ourselves and how will you know that? Well, pay attention to how you feel when you put on a pair of denim. Do they make you feel good? Do they make you feel confident? Do they make you feel like the best version of yourself? If the answer is yes, then that is a denim style that you should be wearing because you always wanna wear something that makes you feel good. These denim trends are definitely hot in fall and winter of 2023, but they will also be in style in 2024. Listen to this entire video because the last denim trend is my personal favorite. It is the most universally flattering style of denim on the market. Well, one of two actually. I think there are two very flattering denim styles in this edit. So definitely stick around to the end because I think you will love the last pair of jeans. And guess what ladies, they are under $50. Okay, denim trend number one is wide leg jeans. So we have been seeing these all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, on influencers, on celebrities. This is probably the most popular denim trend this fall and winter. And I will say this, when you're wearing the wide leg jean, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that whatever you pair the jeans with on the top portion of your body is more of a fitted jacket or a fitted top. What this will do is it will create balance in your look because if you wear an oversized jacket or an oversized shirt with wide leg denim, you will end up looking frumpy, you will end up looking bigger than you really are. So I would say definitely do not do that. So these are one of my favorite pairs of wide leg denim. They're actually flattering because they're high waisted and they're very fitted through the waist and hip area, but they still are considered wide leg jeans. These are by Citizens of Humanity. I love the fact that they have no rips in them, so they're very timeless, they're very versatile. I really love this dark to medium wash as well because they really pair well with all of the fall and winter darker shades. What I paired these jeans with is a fitted nude bodysuit. This one is by Good American. It's the perfect sort of beige color. And as you'll notice, I'm gonna wear three different jackets with this canvas. So the canvas being the beige bodysuit and the dark wash denim. I love doing that. I have a few canvases that I wear a lot and then I just swap out the jacket and you create a plethora of looks. So I really love doing that. So the first jacket I topped off this look with is this fabulous faux fur. This is a beautiful chocolate brown shade by frame denim you guys chocolate brown is another big trend we're seeing this fall and winter and so are faux fur jackets and coats this one is so cozy it's so soft when i put it on i just feel glamorous i feel fabulous and i feel like the best version of myself which is why i personally wear faux fur jackets a ton in the fall and winter because they make me feel good Another jacket you could wear with this exact look is a faux leather blazer. This one is by Cinca Set. Again, that beautiful, rich chocolate brown shade. I love the fact that the sleeves are made to look pushed up. This is a great, just timeless and modern blazer. You could wear it to the office. You can wear it out at night. Like literally the possibilities are endless because this brown blazer by Cinca Set is so versatile and so timeless. The third jacket that I paired with this exact canvas is this beautiful chocolate brown faux leather jacket. You guys, this one is by Levi's. It comes in like 10 different colors. It's under $100 if you can believe that. And trust me when I say it looks way more expensive than it really is. And I think wearing a chocolate brown leather jacket as opposed to a black leather jacket is a little bit more different. Also chocolate brown is softer on your skin. So if you're a woman who doesn't love to wear black, this would be a great alternative. Another pair of wide leg jeans that I'm really loving right now, this is called the A Gold E Harper Jean. This is a fabulous fit as well. It is also high-waisted, definitely with that wide leg that we've been seeing so much of this fall and winter. I love this darker wash. Again, perfect for fall and winter. And I followed my own rule by pairing it with a fitted bodysuit. This one is by Free People. It's sheer underneath, so it's a bit edgy and a bit tastefully sexy. You could always wear a 
bra or even a camisole underneath this bodysuit if you didn't want it to be as sheer. So that's always an option for you guys. I topped it with this amazing cropped faux leather bomber. Actually, it's a real leather bomber. It's from the Nordstrom website. You guys, this is a beautiful real leather jacket for the price. It's honestly unbelievable because it is real leather. So I really love this bomber jacket. So chic and on trend. All right, denim trend number two is the denim skirt. Okay, you guys, this is a newer trend that we've been seeing. It's probably been around for like six months, maybe nine months, but these are everywhere now, you guys, and I am a huge fan. I think wearing a denim skirt is not only flattering on any body type, but it's just a fun alternative to wearing jeans. This one is a Black Reformation denim skirt. I love the fact that it's faded, so it's a bit edgy. And honestly, faded black denim is my personal favorite color of denim to wear because it is edgy. It's also very versatile, and it literally goes with everything. This denim skirt, I love it because it has a slit up the front. It's very comfortable. It's a mid-shin length, which I think is very flattering as well, and it goes with so many different things. I think I've had this skirt for about three months now, and I bet I've worn it over 25 times because it is that good. I paired it with a simple black bodysuit, and then this is a beautiful oversized blazer from Express. It's a gorgeous sort of moss green shade. Oversized blazers are another big trend we've been seeing this fall and winter. So this blazer is not only on trend, but it's also just very stylish and easy to wear. I draped it over this outfit because I love draping my jacket. I know a lot of you don't love doing that because you write to me and you say, Heather, how am I supposed to drape my jacket? It always falls off. And if that happens to you, no worries. You don't have to drape the jacket. You could certainly wear the jacket the regular way. What I do recommend though, is if you do wear an oversized blazer, just the regular way, I would always push up the sleeves and wear a fitted top underneath so that the oversized blazer doesn't end up overtaking your silhouette. All right, denim trend number three is the high-waisted flare jeans. I said there were two style of denim silhouettes that are the most flattering. This is one of those styles. The high-waisted flare, no matter what body type you are, this will always look flattering on you. Because of the high waist, it's gonna make your legs look longer and because of the floor skimming hemline. I have two of my favorite high-waisted flares to feature in this video. The first one are the Veronica Beard Beverly jeans. You guys, these are so flattering. They will make your legs look miles long. They hold their shape so well. Like when I put these jeans on, like I literally feel like they're just sucking everything in and just making my body look the best as it possibly could. I love this wash. I love the floor skimming hemline. I think this style of denim looks really good with fitted blazers, fitted jackets, cropped jackets as well. So I think these jeans are just gonna go a long way in any woman's wardrobe. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I paired it with the Karen Millen black leather jacket. You guys, this is a beautiful real leather jacket. I love the gold buttons and the gold hardware. That's what really makes this leather jacket stand out. And if you're like me, you love wearing leather jackets. I don't know about you, but I'd prefer to wear a leather jacket over a blazer. How about you? What would you prefer to wear? A leather jacket, a blazer, or a denim jacket? I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. In fact, I just did a fall capsule wardrobe and these jeans and this leather jacket are part of the capsule wardrobe because these are two pieces that you can wear so often in the fall and winter. All right, another pair of high-waisted flares. These are actually by Legence. Legence is one of my favorite denim designers. These are called, I think, the Bell Flare. So they are also a high-waisted flare with a floor skimming hemline. It's a very similar wash to the Veronica Beard ones. It's sort of a dark wash, but I would say these maybe aren't as dark as the Veronica Beard ones. Um, I love these. They're a little bit softer and they're a little bit thinner than the Veronica Beard flares. I would say that's the biggest difference, but honestly, I love both of them. I've had both of them for like two years now and literally wear them all the time. I paired these with a simple white tank and then this is a cropped blazer. This one is by Alice and Olivia and it is sold out, but Steve Madden makes a very similar cropped blazer for a fraction of the price. 
All right, denim trend number four is the split hem ankle jeans. So I love this trend because it's a bit sexy and also it allows you to show off your favorite pair of heels. So one of my favorite split hem jeans are these by EB Denim. They're also a high-waisted flare silhouette. However, these are more of like a rigid denim, so they're not gonna hug your curves as much as the Veronica Beard or the Legence ones do because they don't have any spandex in them. When I say rigid denim, that's basically what that means, is this is like real raw denim. There isn't a lot of stretch, so they're not as comfortable either. I do love these jeans though. They look very vintage inspired. They're very fashion forward. I got these off of the Revolve website. Very cool vintage inspired denim, and I really love the slits up the ankle. I paired it with a simple chocolate brown bodysuit. This one is from Express. And then I topped it with this gorgeous rust-colored corduroy blazer from Express. You guys, this blazer is so beautiful. It's corduroy, but it's like a soft corduroy, so it almost looks like velvet. So trust me when I say this blazer looks way more expensive than it really is. And the fact that it is corduroy means it's a cozy, it's gonna be a little bit warmer than a regular blazer. So this blazer will be perfect once the temperatures start to drop. All right, denim trend number five is the high-waisted straight leg jean. This is another one of those that's extremely popular. If I'm out on the streets in Dallas, that is probably the most worn denim silhouette that I see. And honestly, it's probably my most worn denim silhouette as well, personally. These are some of my favorite high-waisted straight leg jeans. These are by Mother. They're called the Smokin' Double because they're a little bit longer. They don't have an ankle length. They're a little bit longer, but they're not a floor length either. I guess it depends on your height, but I am five foot four for reference. I love these jeans because I can wear them with a three inch heel or a four inch heel and they are perfect. And honestly, if I had to pick one pair of jeans that are the most slimming pair of black denim in my closet, these would be them. I love the faded black wash. Like I said before, I love wearing faded black denim because it's extremely edgy and these literally go with everything. I paired them with this amazing snake print jacket by Veronica Beard. You guys, high-waisted denim and cropped jackets go together like peanut butter and jelly, like perfectly. So this jacket is so flattering. I love the beautiful snake print. It's made of like an ivory, rich camels in black. And these color combinations are very expensive looking, very luxe looking because it is faux leather. It's not gonna be as expensive as it would be if this was a real leather jacket. I have worn this jacket with denim, but it also looks amazing paired over slip dresses, regular dresses, and even with skirts. Okay, denim trend number six is the barrel jean. Have you guys seen these before? These are really kind of cool. They're high-waisted, but the legs of the denim are wide, but then they're tapered at the ankle. So these that I'm wearing are called the barrel jean. These are by Frame Denim. They're actually the extra long length so that they hit a little bit lower. They do have a regular length, which hits right at the ankle, but I think the barrel jeans look better if they're a little bit longer and you can wear them with a pointy toe heel. That's going to be the kicker. Wear them with a pointy toe heel and wear them with a cropped or fitted jacket or a fitted top. And that's the same reason as you want to wear the wide leg jeans with fitted jackets or fitted tops because you don't want this denim silhouette to overtake you. And it will if you pair it with a large oversized baggy jacket or top. So definitely don't do that. These jeans are high waisted. I love this medium wash. They're soft. They're comfortable. They do hold their shape really well. But again, because they're baggy, I decided to pair them with a simple black bodysuit. And then this is one of my favorite jackets that I have purchased this year. It's by Alice and Olivia. It's quilted. So it kind of reminds me of a Chanel bag, but it's a jacket. So very luxurious looking. I've worn it with denim. I've also worn it over dresses as well. The faux leather is so soft. The fit is impeccable. And right now, you guys, it's actually, I think, on sale on the Alice and Olivia website. So I will be sure and link it down below in my description box along with everything else that I've worn in this video.
Another jacket you could pair these frame barrel jeans with is this cropped faux fur and faux leather jacket by French Connection. I love this black and camel combination. That's a very luxe looking, very expensive looking color combination. And this jacket is so warm, it's so cozy. You can wear it now with its simple bodysuit underneath it. But then when the temperatures start to drop in the winter time, you could pair a cozy cashmere turtleneck underneath this jacket. This is a great winter jacket. It looks expensive, it looks luxe, and again, I think it pairs really well with these high-waisted barrel jeans by Frame Denim. Okay, denim trend number seven is the baby flare jean. This one also is very universally flattering because this jean is the skyscraper jean from Express, probably one of my absolute favorite denim silhouettes on the market. And the best thing about these jeans, besides the fact that they're insanely flattering, so slimming, so comfortable, is that they're under $100. And sometimes Express even offers 40% off their denim, which means these jeans would be under $50. But trust me when I say these jeans fit like designer denim. They feel like designer denim, but obviously they don't have the price tag of designer denim. These are actually considered a mid-rise. So if you're somebody who doesn't love high-waisted denim, you will absolutely love these jeans. They do have the baby flare, floor skimming hemline, and then they also have the ankle slit up the leg as well. So these really encompass two of the denim trends, the baby flare, and the ankle slit. I love these particular jeans from Express. Again, the skyscraper, they're a medium wash with no rips. So very versatile, very timeless. I paired them with a rust colored bustier top in the matching rust colored corduroy blazer, both pieces from Express. This is one of my favorite outfits that I've worn lately. I wore this on a girl's lunch and then I went ahead and wore it out to dinner that night as well. I got tons of compliments on it. So I'm really loving this look for fall and winter and you can't beat the price. So those were the seven denim trends that are gonna be really hot this fall and winter and they will certainly still be in style in 2024. Please let me know what your favorite denim trend was because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you guys have a beautiful day because you deserve it and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.